Hey everyone, welcome back. We're continuing our reading of this wonderful book, or the book of uh, the Wakiyash and the First Totem Pole uh, story from the Kwakitul tribe. Okay, and remember, Wakiyash was the chief. Uh, he is having the conversation with the frog. He wrote, he wrote on the back of the raven, and now he's spying on the other chiefs who are have fine dances that he is. Uh, sort of envious of. So that is where we are in the story. Now, clearly in the story, in this folklore story, the mouse is the fastest one, remember? So he's gonna go around the hut. So that's where we are. The mouse had taken off her mouse skin clothes and was presently appearing in the form of a woman. Indeed, all the people in the house were animals who looked like humans because they had taken off their animal skin clothes to dance. When the mouse ran out, Wakiyash caught her and said, Ha! My friend, I have a gift for you. And he gave her a piece of mountain goat fat. <laughs> a mountain goat fat. You can make some good potatoes with that. Um, I mean, beef fat, tallow is what it's called, is delicious. Cook potatoes in it. You can make it in pastries. Oh, it's really good. Make tortillas with it. Oh, it's really good. Put it in beans. Oh. The mouse was so pleased with Wakiyash that she began talking to him. What do you want? she asked eventually. Wakiyash said that he wanted the totem pole, the house and the dances and songs that belonged to them. The mouse said, stay here. Wait till I come again. Wakiyash stayed and the mouse went in and told the dancers. I've been everywhere to see if there's a man around, but I couldn't find anybody. And the chief who looked... <clears throat> like a man but was really a beaver said let's try again to dance okay so there's the beaver okay why is she lying though hmm so he wants one of the dances why couldn't she tell the other chiefs like hey there's another one outside he wants in why don't you let him into the lodge to dance but instead she's sort of like flipping sides why is she doing this for him? Just because, of the, just because of the goat fat? Let's see. They tried three times but couldn't do anything. And each time they sent the mouse to search. Okay, so three times. Look at that. They're like, hey man, keep going outside and checking. What's ruining the vibe? Because we can't really get in our mood to really do our lodge dances. That's interesting. But each time the mouse only chatted with Wakiyash and returned to report that no one was there. The third time she went out, she said to him, Get ready. And when they began to dance, leap into the room. Okay, so I wonder what is it about the fourth time? Are they just going to give up? Like, okay, we've checked the vibe so many times. Now we just got to get doing what we got to do. Because, hmm. When the mouse told the animals again that no one was there, they began to dance. Then Wakiyash sprang in, and at once they all dropped their heads in shame. Because a man had seen them looking like men, whereas they were really animals. <laughs> That's kind of funny, okay. So he jumps in, and they stop, and they're like, oh. <laughs> they're really animals. That's so weird. That's just like a weird situation. But, man, just think about it. What would you do? Like, you're like, oh. But he expects it. The dancers stood silent until at last the mouse said, Let's not waste time. Let's ask our friend what he wants. So they all lifted up their heads and the chief asked the man what he wanted. Wakiyash thought that he would like to have the dance because he had never had one of his own. Whoa, that's kind of sad, right? He's like, I never had one of my own. Also, he thought he would like to have the house and the totem pole that he had seen outside <laughs> dang so that's kind of weird you know like to learn about you know because part of my family my biological grandfather was Cherokee I don't really know him but what's interest interesting is that not only the house is something to be desired here in this moment by the chief but the totem pole and the dance so what does a chief want a totem pole a house a good dance that's interesting. So you're, we're learning through the story about chief culture, right? Though the man did not speak, the mouse did
divined his thoughts and told the dancers. And the chief said, let our friend sit down. We'll show him how we dance. And he can pick out whatever dance he wants. That's interesting. They're going to do like a demonstration and he gets to pick. So they began to dance. And when they had ended, the chief asked Wakiyash what kind of dance he would like. The dancers had been using all sorts of masks. Most of all, Wakiyash wanted the Echo Mask. That's interesting, the Echo Mask. What does that look like? And the mask of the little man who goes about the house talking. What? What is that? The little man who goes about the house. So there's the Echo Mask and the little man who goes about the house talking and trying to quarrel with others. Wakiyash only formed his wishes in his mind. The mouse told them to the chief. So the animals taught Wakiyash all their dances. All the dances. And the chief told him that he might take as many dances and masks as he wished. Oh, that's kind of a little bit greedy. Thought one would be enough. He wants multiple. As well as the house and the totem pole. Jeez, a little bit like rude there. The beaver chief promised Wakiyash that these things would go all with him when he returned home. And that he could use them all in one dance. Wow, one dance with all that? That's quite a show. You gotta have some stamina, boy. The chief also gave him, for his own, the name of the totem pole. Okay, this is the name. Kalakuyuish. Meaning sky pole. Because the pole was so tall. Oh, jeez, wow. So a totem pole is it's almost like their version of their own obelisk, in a way. So the chief took the house and folded it up like a little bundle. He put it into a headdress of one of the dancers and gave it to Wakiyash, saying, When you reach home, throw down this bundle. The house will become as it was when you first saw it. And then you can begin to give a dance. How cool is that? So the house can be folded up in the chief's hat. He's like crown, you know? It's not, it's not a metal crown. It's with feathers and such. But that's cool. And then when he gets home, toss it. And then he has to dance. That's really interesting. Wakiyash went back to the raven and the raven flew away with him toward the mountain from which they had set out. Before they arrived, Wakiyash fell asleep. When he awoke, the raven and the frog were gone and he was alone. He's alone. It was night by the time Wakiyash arrived home. He threw down the bundle that was in the headdress and there was the house with its totem pole. The well painted on the house was blowing. See, that's cool because you can almost picture it in your mind. A sort of, like, even if it's just wood and not painted, right? You can picture sort of totem pole and then have this little house. And then the spout of some whale, right? The animals carved on the totem pole were making their noses. Oh, so it's like, oh, that's interesting. And all the masks inside the house were talking and crying aloud. That's almost like the smile now, cry later masks, like those opera masks. At once, Wakiyash people woke up and came out to see what was happening. And Wakiyash found that instead of four days, he had been away four years. Oh, wow. That's really weird. It's almost like the Rip Van Winkle story, right? Similar in time, in like going away and coming back. But that's still interesting. They all went into the new house. And Wakiyash began to make a dance. He taught the people the songs and they sang while Wakiyash danced. Then the echo came and whoever <clears throat> sorry. And whoever made a noise, the echo made the same by changing the mouthpiece of its mask. When they had finished dancing, the house was gone. It went back to the animals. Okay, so that's interesting. Look at that. When the echo came, the echo mask. So it was like uh, comes back dancing. I thought you got to keep the house though. That's a... And all the chiefs were ashamed because Wakia now had the best dance. Oh, okay. So interesting. So he ended up getting the animals to help him become the best dancer really in the end. Then Wakia made a house and mask and totem pole out of the wood. And when the totem pole was finished, the people composed a song for it. It's cool, so a totem poles could even have a song attached to them. This pole was the first the tribe had ever had. The animals had named it Kalakuish, the pole that holds up the sky. 
and they said that it made a creaking noise because the sky was so heavy. And Wakiyash took for his own the name of the totem pole, Kalakayuish, based on a version reported by Natalie Kernis in the Indian's book 1907. Wow, so the totem pole can have a song to it. And you can take the name of the totem pole. That's quite interesting. And it makes a creak, obviously, because we know it's swaying and it's wood, right? But it, it's cool how they said, like, oh, it's because this guy is so heavy. It's like a twist on the story, right? So Wakiyash got his totem pole and changed his name to Kalakawish. Oh.